Hi everyone, thank you so much for such an amazing response to all the videos that you're showing. I have come up with yet another amazing video with yet another amazing opportunity and that is known as Outreach Internship. So if you're not aware of Outreach Internship, this video is going to be very beneficial for you in all the terms like we'll be discussing each and every detail about Outreach Internship. What is the last date? What, is the, what are some of the important points? How can you make your application better for Outreach? Like I've talked with one or two Outreach Interns who have been already like who have already got this internship and had the experience. So I've got certain very important points. What should, should you keep in mind and how you can make your applications for outreach better. So this is going to be the video in which we'll be discussing uh, complete analysis of this internship and like uh, whatsoever you'll be getting. So all the benefits, all the details, all the application points, what are your benefits, career opportunity, everything we are going to discuss and what are the organizations participating. So just stay tuned with me in this video and we'll discuss uh, this amazing opportunity. <laughs> outreach internship so if you haven't heard about this outreach internship like you might have heard about open source programs like if you haven't heard about open source program then also we'll uh, create some separate video on open source program some time in future but uh, just to begin with this program as the last date is approaching soon so just let me tell you this outreach internships is basically a program similar to google summer of code or uh, rgsoc and many other similar such programs and it's one of the amazing opportunities in which you will be getting it's it's a kind of paid internship i would say in which you will be getting uh, a stipend that is very good and along with that you will be allowed to contribute to certain organizations and building some very cool awesome projects with the help of mentors so this is an open source program in which you will get the actual feel of what open source is like and how you can get yourself into this program and how you can understand various technicalities of project building how how can it be a better software developer and like everything that you want to be as a good software developer so when you talk about this program like this program is basically a kind of uh, initiative in which a lot of amazing companies uh, contribute to like uh, there'll be organizations like Mozilla, JBoss, Fedora, OpenRefine. So these are some very good organization who pay you, who allow you to work on their projects. You'll get some of the amazing uh, other benefits from these companies. For example, if you're selected for Mozilla internship, so uh, you'll have the tag of at the rate mozilla.com. You'll get that particular email ID from Mozilla. You'll get a laptop that you can keep with you after the, even after the internship ends. So, the benefits are like uh, a lot more than I could even describe along with your good project building experience, your uh, skills getting enhanced. So everything you are going to get from this uh, amazing internship. So we'll discuss about each and everything about this internship. So now let's come on to one of the important aspects of this internship that is the paid internship. So when, when I talk about paid internship, so uh, you basically wanted to know what is the stipend for this internship. So when I talk about stipend, it's close to 6,000 US dollars. When we convert these 6,000 US dollars into Indian currency, so it's close to 4,35,000 something. So that is such a huge amount. Uh, out of the, that, this stipend, like $5,500 you will be getting in cash and $500 you will be getting some travel grant. Like you can go to any of the conferences, any of the events that they conduct and you will be getting that completely reimbursed from that $500. So this is basically uh, the stipend that it has, but stipend is just one part of this internship, but the learning that you get from this experience is super amazing. Like you have, you if you want to start your career in open source and tech, so this is one of the most important, one of the great opportunity, right? So now coming upon to your eligibility criteria, when we talk about the eligibility for this particular internship, so they have specifically made this internship to give a chance to the underrepresented groups in the society. When we talk about underrepresented groups in the society, so if you identify yourself as a female candidate, as uh, somebody from LGBTQ group, as somebody who is uh, who has faced any discrimination in the past or who has some like discrimination can be on any basis. Like if you have discriminated, uh, if you have faced discrimination in the field of tech industry, like you have been deprived of certain opportunities like you have missed on, missed on certain things due to financial crisis or anything like so if you feel that you are into this position and you are uh, eligible for this internship so definitely this is a chance for you to go ahead and apply majorly like mostly uh, women candidates are selected for this internship period and like all over the world they select around 50 people for this internship out of like uh, all the applications so after knowing about the eligibility criteria let's talk about its application procedure and what are some of the important things that you need to consider while writing an application for this program so basically the first round of application is uh, the last date for applying for this program is approaching soon it is 
February 22nd this year. So if you haven't already registered, go ahead and uh, just check out their website for all the details. Like when you talk about the application, so the initial process is like you will be giving your some basic details like your name, country name, your residential address, like some of the other transcripts if they're asking. This is some of the things that you're asking. And apart from that, you will be having four essay type questions. So these essay type questions are a very important deciding factor that will move your application ahead in the process. So like uh, if we talk about last time, so 3000 people applied for this internship and around 800 were selected on the basis of the essay type questions. So essay type questions play a very important part. So when we talk about some of the important points in this essay type question, so uh, what are things you should need to focus upon in these and these essay type questions? That is something that is most important. So first and most important thing is you should uh, represent yourself as an underrepresented as as somebody who is from underrepresented group. Like uh, any discrimination that you have faced, anything like any uh, discrimination on the place of work, any discrimination on uh, the grounds of uh, tech industry on. Uh, like if you have been deprived of any certain scholarship, if you have been deprived of any certain internship opportunity, any job, if you have been discriminated in your uh, college, if you have been discriminated uh, while paying your fee, anything, right? So the grounds can be any, but it is how you present your application that makes the most out of it, right? So when you talk about some of the certain answers, like what should you write in those answers or how can you frame those answers better? So rather than just writing like uh, uh, simply like I have been discriminated on these, these these grounds so you should you need to give practical examples like you need to quote a particular incident that if you have been discriminated at so and so incident like you were going to get this particular scholarship but due to this and this reason you have not been able to if you were like looking forward for a job opportunity or an internship opportunity but you could not make it due to so and so so these are some of the things that will like make your application stand out from rest of the application then don't try to copy your answers from any internet source or anything like uh, definitely that is not going to help in any way so you should write your answers on your own take time write it once on a copy pen and like analyze your answer perfectly like whether it's grammatically correct whether you have written all the inputs that you had like anything can be added anything can be removed so first analyze then type on the answers onto your uh, application process right so it's not like you just type anything and that's done you need to give some time at least three to four to five hours you need to spend while writing these answers and then analyzing these further and further so that you can improve upon these answers so that is something that will bear the fruit that you are looking forward to right so it's very important like when you are writing these answers so you should focus upon your skill set like you have so and so skills also you represent yourself as a member of underrepresented community like the discriminations that you have faced quoting some incidents like uh, your achievements also you can highlight some of your achievements in tech like uh, you are uh, like if you have some uh, if you are a brilliant student or something like something you have achieved that you can show so basically whatsoever you have done till now you can present it in a very good format that makes your application stand out from the rest so let me give you a brief about what this program is all about like if you are selected uh, for this first round like what is the process going to be although i'll not go into much detail we'll have a separate video on that sometime soon but uh just to give you a brief idea of what is going to happen and how you can uh like uh uh, prepare for it like if you are shortlisted for this application like there will be certain organization with some of the projects right it's the organizations i've already mentioned like mozilla open define j boss so fedora like a lot of organizations so they'll uh, uh, roll out certain projects along with that like you need to choose some of the project and start contributing in those projects you will be assigned your mentors and these mentors will only be the deciding factor like they'll only select whether you are perfect candidate for this internship or not and after that you, your selection will be made based upon your contributions in those projects so so when we talk about the skills that you require for this particular internship so it can be any skills like they have projects in all the domains like if you are good at c plus plus c python django like any framework any language so there are a lot of uh, frameworks or languages or technologies listed upon their website you can go through that apart from that if you're very new but the most important thing is you should give it a try if you if you even if you feel that you're not well uh, eligible of or like if you're not well uh, acquainted with the technologies then also you can apply for this just give it a try if not this year next year you can apply right 
So go ahead and apply for this internship. Like now, I believe that most of the important details I have uh, given regarding this internship. Like next, we'll uh, go through quickly go through the their uh, website and we'll see some of the other important details that I might have missed out. So do check out this video till the end so that you can get a complete analysis of this outreach internship and do apply for the same. So let's have an out overview of uh, the official website of Outreach. So when you see this, open this main page, I've given the link in the description below for this uh, main page. So you can see that the total amount that is paid is 6,000 US dollars as internship stipend for three months. Like you should be available from May 24 to August 24 if you are uh, wishing to uh, intern at uh, Outreach. And the application date is February 22nd at 4 p.m. UTC. So do check out this UTC to IST conversion so, so as you, like you don't miss out the last date. So uh, the cohorts that they run each year are from May to August and December to March. But for Indian students, the only May to August uh, batch is available. When you talk about some of the important things like 92% uh, women have been selected, 4% transgender, 64% people of color, 12% people from historically disadvantaged class. So these are some of the previous data that people have been selected for this particular internship. So you need to apply for this May to August batch, the initial applications for which will really, be uh, there for... Uh, 22nd February apart from that some other important things that we talk about like uh, they have given certain schedule of their outreach internships when are they uh, going to have and when are they going to start next uh, some of the other important things like uh, the organizations or the sponsors you can see like these are probably the organization from which you can get the projects in this open source program so next when we talk about uh, some of the other important details like application guide they have also a complete application guide on to like whatsoever doubts you have regarding the internship you can go through it once again and you can get to know like each and everything the eligibility like um, for eligibility you can see like i've already mentioned about some of the things you should not be a part of G gsoc or you should not be a previous intern at outreachy like you need to you need to be uh, devote 40 hours per week for this internship and uh, you can also apply if you are not a student if you are full time but you have to leave your full time job if you want to apply for this this is basically another hemisphere like people of india can apply only in the may to august round they can't apply in the winter uh, <coughs> internship at outreachy other things like project skills like that is that is something separate like that you can check out on your own like which whichever certain skills you have or whichever certain <laughs> skills like projects that you want to choose upon these are some of the other important details like you can go through this once like one of the modern thing is the essay questions like uh, you should be a part of underrepresented groups as i've already mentioned so you can be discriminated on these bases age body size caste disabilities ethnicity nationality personal appearance so these are some of the other things some of the tips they have also given for writing your essays and uh, I have also mentioned some of the important tips from a certain previous year interns. So go ahead and check out their website completely so that you can get a, an overview of what this application is all about and how you can apply for it in a better way. So do apply for it if you're looking forward to a career at uh, if you're looking forward to uh, such an amazing experience at Outreachy. I hope this opportunity will also add a star to your profile if you are selected for this internship and like for more in such amazing internships and more upcoming content ahead do like share and subscribe this channel and also share it with your family members with your groups with your uh, friends with your college whatsapp group everywhere so good luck thank you bye bye